What is going on guys, this is Takeshi coming at you with a brand new video and today we're going to be doing an unboxing video of something for audio people. Now if you guys are into audio, you guys know about lavalier microphones, shotgun microphones, like condenser, cardio condenser microphones, stuff like that. Then this is great for you guys if you guys are having problems with certain microphones that are very low and you have to bump up that gain. So this, what we're going to be unboxing today is the Cloudlifter CL1. And I also have a um, XLR microphone cable. So um, this is a premium microphone cable and I've seen a lot of good reviews about this. So we're gonna put this over to the side because it's not as important as this because what this is is to boost up low microphones. Like for example, a dynamic microphone like the Shure SMB, SM7B microphone. And what it is is that Usually those microphones are very low and you have to bump up the gain in like in your interface and what that does is that it creates distortion when you bump up the gain and there's so much more background noise heard, so much more echo and stuff like that and that's what's going on with my chakra microphone right underneath the camera. So basically with the chakra microphone I have the Movo chakra mic and I would have to connect it to my interface with XLR and I will have to bump up the gain all the way to max in order for it to catch my voice at a decent amount. Where with the cloud lifter it's a pass through basically it uses your interface's phantom power in order to power this and then it boosts up any microphone, not any microphone, let me explain that in a little bit, it boosts up a microphone to up to 25 plus decibels which is clean audio so they say it doesn't create distortion or anything like that so what i want to do i want to check this out i want to do a sound test see if it actually works and the only thing that i have is that if this will work for my shotgun mic because i've seen videos that it works for dynamic uh, microphones for ribbon microphones stuff like that i never seen a video of them using it for a shotgun mic so what I did was on Amazon, I asked some questions and my question was, would this work if I connect my shotgun mic because my shotgun mic is very low and I need to bring up the gain from my interface all the way up. And so I got multiple answers and some of them are actually pretty interesting because one thing is that this does not power your microphone. So what it does, it takes the power, the phantom power from your interface and it will basically boosts up the microphone but it will not transfer the phantom power to that microphone so if it needs if that microphone needs phantom power then it will not work so i wanted to see what people would say and it says if your shotgun microphone is a condenser microphone and most are then it would have to be battery powered because the cloud lifter uses phantom power to boost the signal so if you normally power your shotgun mic with phantom power this wouldn't work because the cloud lifter doesn't spit phantom power out the other end. So that's one answer. Another one is, it depends. If your shotgun mic needs phantom power to operate, then no. If it doesn't or it does, but gets phantom from battery, then yes. This is because the cloud lifter eats the phantom power signal to raise the gain and doesn't transfer through. Another answer is, as long as your mic is powered by phantom power supplied through the mic cable, then it will work. Typically, mics that draw power from an internal battery can be damaged by also receiving it through the mic cable simultaneously. So it's pretty interesting and then it says most shotgun mics are condenser microphones and the cloud lifter is only designed to work with dynamic mics. If this is a dynamic, the cloud lifter placed between the mic and the interface will boost the signal up to 20 decibels. This is a, a significant gain and will compensate for low mic output. Also, please ensure that your interface has 48 volt phantom power that is the power supply for the cloud lifter. And then I said, yes, it will give any XLR mic a boost of clean gain. You won't need to boost your interface uh, gain as much, thereby getting a cleaner signal. So basically, if your shotgun microphone uses 48 volt phantom power, then this will not work for it. If it's able to use a battery power, then this will work for it. And good thing is that my shotgun mic, the Movo microphone, it'll be down in the description below if you guys want to check it out as well. It uses both phantom power or battery power, so this should work for it. So after talking so much, let's finally get into the box. All right, you guys, so we have the Cloudlifter CL1 and we also have the XLR microphone cable. 
you will need to buy an XLR microphone cable because it does not provide you with one and you will need to buy two and I already have one I just need another one so this is the easiest one to unbox and you can see right here XLR very simple nothing nothing really special about this one this is just six feet so we're just gonna move this over to the side and it's red so <laughs> that's I guess the most different part of an XLR and now let's get into this one and let's see okay so now let's see we got the user guide to show you how to plug these in we have the cloud lifter cl1 the cl2 and the clz cl4 there's multiple ones and a lot of microphones as well and then let's see right here we got some uh velcro which is interesting and then we got this bad boy right here we got the cloud microphone cloud lifter cl1 mic activator and it's very interesting i have no idea why this is here but we're going to move this over to the side and we're just going to move this to the side and this is all metal and it has a bit of weight to it like around five pounds which is pretty interesting we've got rubber on the uh, on the bottom and this as well so it could be nice and steady and not move as much and you can see one input of XLR and then the other one is the female, male, female and you could just push to uh, remove it. So it's pretty interesting. I mean it's so simple and there's nothing, there's no power on button or anything like that. You just have to hook it up and then let it use the interface's phantom power and then connect it to the microphone, whatever microphone you have as long as it's not uh, doesn't need the phantom power if it could run off without phantom power or with battery then that's completely fine this will work with it so now let's test it out and let's see how it will sound all right you guys so now what you are hearing is from the cloud lifter cl1 connected to my shotgun microphone and the cloud lifter cl1 is getting the power from my uh focus right scarlet solo studio pack interface and it works like a charm like I tested it out before I made this clip and I have it hooked up to the cloud lifter I have the shotgun microphone hooked up to the cloud lifter using the red cable that I showed you guys earlier and I also have the other cable that I was using before and I have that connected from the cloud lifter to the interface and you guys are seeing basically a video a quick video of how it all looks behind the scenes and it works like a charm now before the cloud lifter i used to have the scarlet solo studio pack interface all the way to maximum all the way to 100 and it still sounded pretty quiet and it was getting a little bit annoying because i would have to edit the audio and really bump it up to really high and that will mess up the audio uh signal and it'll create a lot of background noise you'll be able to hear a lot of background noise a lot of echoes stuff like that where with the cloud lifter cl1 i'm able to bump it up to like literally 60 percent of gain and it's clean signal clean audio i'm able to edit it and not hear that much of the background noise anymore and it really helps a lot especially if you have like a ribbon microphone a dynamic microphone or like a shotgun microphone that i am using right now also the movo uh, that I'm using is the Movo shotgun microphone and it'll be down in the description below as well as the cloud lifter CL1 and the cable that I'm using so if you guys like this like the audio how it all sounds it'll be down in the description below as well and also the Scarlett uh, user interface the interface that I'm using as well if you guys really like it it'll be down in the description below but yeah let me know down in the description what you guys think about this let me know what you guys think of the audio quality is it better do you hear no difference let me know because i really want to know because in my opinion i really do hear a difference but i, I want to see your guys' opinion so let me know down in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe follow me on facebook twitter youtube instagram and twitch i messed up my hands so much follow me on facebook twitter youtube instagram and twitch as always this is x4 gaming as always, this is Tekichi, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!